What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I have Polish Pickup April 2019 with the theme Famous Works of Art to share with you today. I have 12 products to show you all, and they are just a lovely mix of finishes as usual, and there's lots to see here. So this is Polish Pickup's second year anniversary, and we are throwing it back with the same theme for the first Polish Pickup. Now, I want to note in this video, I am starting off with not showing top coat. I am always trying to change these videos to make them more efficient and more to the point for you guys. So unless noted, please note that I am using a glossy top coat for all of my swatches, and it's the usual top coat from Night Owl Lacquer. So let's get started. First up, we have Baroness X's Acetone Antidote. This is Almond Orange Spire, and this has a lovely mix between orange and a strong almond scent to it. Very, very lovely. I add an entire bottle into a seven ounce pump of pure acetone, and it gives me the moisturizing benefits without the drying um, effects of pure acetone with a lingering scent on my nails. There will be no cap on this one, and the price is $4.25. And next we have Baroness X's Polish. This is House of Bones. Official description is a blue to purple to red copper multichrome base with green to blue to purple shifting magnetic pigment and a sprinkling of the following. Metallic gold flakies, green to blue to purple ghost flakies, and hot pink hollow micro shed glitter. So this one is inspired as well by the rooftop of Antoni Gaudi's Casa Botlo. There is no cap on this one and it will be $11.50. So this is a gorgeous shifty multi-chrome. I do want to note it does shift very nicely over to a strong purple on that magnetic pigment. Um, it was being a little bit shy on my swatches, but just note this is full multi-chrome on multi-chrome action here. So the base color itself is a lovely navy blue in my opinion. Um, very, very pretty. It's just really striking, almost like a dark cobalt, if you will. And the multi-chrome pigment here, which is the magnetic pigment, is that lovely aqua color you're seeing that shifts over to purple. There's lots of sparkles to see here and those hot pink shreds are just lovely and they stand out very nicely against the base and the magnetic pigment. For full opacity on this one, I'm gonna say between two and three coats. Next up, we have blush lacquers. This is a dance on the sand. Official description is a dreary steel blue base with a pink to gold shifting shimmer, gold flake, Copper flake, red to orange to gold shifting multi-chrome flake, and scattered ho hollow pigment. Inspiration is the Singing Butler by Jack Vetriano. There is no cap on this one and the price will be 11. So the formula on this one feels medium to me. On the first coat it does come off just a touch on the sheer side, but it builds up very, very quickly. For opacity on this one, I'm gonna say between two and three coats. I had no problems with the flakes picking up from the bottle. And as usual, I give my bottles a good shake before applying and I had no problems getting just a multitude of them on the brush to um, apply to my nail. So here you can see them, they're laying down nice and flat for me. They have this lovely, um, like a foil type way that they lay across the nail. So very nice and metallic feeling. They shift from all types of warm tones from coppers to oranges to reds to gold. And they really complement that steel blue base that almost flirts with being a dusky gray in my opinion. The shimmer here is very, very strong, and it comes off as a lovely pinky color, and then on angles you'll see it go over to a nice gold. There's also a lot of hollow here as well, so there's sparkles all over the place and the flakes are given their own shift. Just a really nice complex color. So on the full hand shot here, you're seeing it with top coat, and I had no texture whatsoever after applying it. Next, we have Cameo Colored Lacquers. This is I'd Give My Ear for an Iris. Official description is a deep indigo base with a green to blue to purple shift, a touch of scattered hollow sparkle, and speckled with blue, purple, lime blue, and gold, gold metallic, and silver hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by Van Gogh's irises. There is a 95 bottle cap on this one and the price is 11. So this is one that I feel like my swatches didn't really do it justice. There's a lot of inner depth to this one. So the base color um, is definitely what I would consider a true indigo with a bit of a purple lean to it, a very dark purple I might add. And the shimmer here is just really, really glowy. For opacity on this one, I'm gonna say two coats, um, though if you have very long nails, I could see needing three. Um, but I think for short nails and about my nail length, you're gonna be just fine at two. 
Um, this has a nice rich feel during application and it builds up very, very fast. So there is a bit of a sparkle here to be seen and loads of flakes. So just a nice blingy, just really glowy type of indigo. After top coat, I had no texture whatsoever. Next, we have Crystal Knockout. This is Miss Unicorn. Official description is a bright purple base with an indigo aurora shimmer, iridescent flakes in blue, gold, and green, and micro holographic glitter in pink, gold, and aqua. This is inspired by the fantasy artist Josephine Wall's My Lady Unicorn. There is no cap on this one and the price is 13. So the formula on this one I would describe as a medium type. It builds up very, very quickly on the nail. Um, on the first coat, it does start off just a touch sheer, but like I said, it does build up fast. Um, I'm gonna say two to three coats for opacity on this one, though as you'll see in a moment on that second coat, I had really lovely coverage. This one has a really strong glow to it. So this is a vibrant purple overall, but in person, you'll see a really strong pink kind of glow to it. So lots of depth to be seen here. Um, very, very sparkly. There's all kinds of things going on here. So super blingy. And that Aurora Shimmer just really gives a nice um, glowy type of look to it. So another one that has lots of depth overall and if you are a purple polish lover, um, I always classify you guys um, in your own category, and I think you guys are going to be perfectly pleased with this one. Um, I was definitely pleased with it as well. I think it's very, very flattering because overall it does have a bit of a cool undertone to it. So if you've got warm undertones, this is going to really pop on you like it did on me. So after top coating, I had no texture whatsoever. I was smooth to the touch, and it was just super sparkly and blingy from there. Next, we have Girly Bits. This is not Water Lilies. Official description is an intentionally sheer cyan blue base with amazing copper to red to green color shifting shimmer and blue to aqua color shifting iridescent flakes. And from the maker, she um, states that she was skimming for inspiration and she came across a lith lithograph by uh, Sunil Alvar and immediately thought of this prototype she's been waiting to release. This is capped at 375 bottles and the price will be 13. So this one definitely is intentionally sheer. So I do wanna note that um, it built up for me at three coats with just a touch of my smile line still showing. Um, as you're seeing here, the formula on this one, I would describe as a medium to light, but it does have this really squishy jello-like feel during application. So um, it does have this really nice viscous type of feel during, ap during application. Um, the shimmer here is super strong. So in person, you'll see it easily appear as this reddish to copper. And then even on the slightest angle, I'm seeing it shift over to a very strong green and gold, just really, really glowy. Now the flakes in here are iridescent and they shift from what I'm seeing purples and blues and aquas and greens, lots to see here. And I think this would be versatile as a topper as well. Though personally, I think it looks stunning on its own as it's a very vibrant cyan blue. Next, we have Indie by Patty Lopez. This is Mysterious Smile. Official description is a shimmer teal pink, duochrome base, uh, multi-chrome flakies, red hollow glitters, silver hollow micro glitters. And this was inspired by Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. This will be capped at 75 bottles and the price is 12 for this one. So I do wanna note, um, this brand does use uh, 10, mil 10 milliliter bottles and the brush on them is just really, really lovely. This is one of the first times I am working with this brand. So just as a full report, the brush is lovely. As you can see here, it's um, very unique in that it is a bit of a narrow, but it does fan out nicely on the nail. So the formula on this one is medium. It builds up very, very fast. I'm gonna say for opacity, two to three coats. And overall, you're gonna see this lovely, um, almost like a brick type of red with a really strong copper glow in the duochrome effect. This one is super sparkly. I had no problems with the pigments here or the flakes. After top coating, I had no texture whatsoever and just overall a really nice, lovely, warm duochrome. Next, we have Gior Couture. This is La Peche 1981. Official description is a quad thermal that tr transitions to four unique colors and is packed with three different Aurora pigments. And the shifting colors are in cold, a chartreuse, 
cool a sage green warm a periwinkle hot corn flower inspired by john michelle Pesquat. i apologize if i'm saying that wrong um, he is an american artist of haitian and puerto rican descent now there will be no cap on this one and the price is 12.50 for opacity on this i'm going to say um, three thin coats to build it up it does have lots and lots of shimmer here very very strong um, on the glow i do want to note that my package and several other packages the week that this was delivered uh, were damaged by my mail carrier so i do apologize i'm not able to show you guys the other two transition colors what you're going to see here is this lovely chartreuse color on the cold state and there is a very um, interesting creamy type of color that i'm seeing here as well so i do apologize please check out the other amazing bloggers that have worked on this polish um, in the facebook group as well as on the wish list so you can see all four colors um, otherwise beautiful formula very very nice super glowy with all those aurora shimmers and after top coating i had no texture it does dry down a touch on the matte side, so I personally would recommend a glossy top coat for this one. And here you're seeing, I'm trying to use my very high-tech hair dryer technique just to kind of show you guys the really um, hot state here. So unfortunately, um, my bottle, like I said, was damaged, so the coldest I could get it was that chartreuse. I do apologize about that. Next, we have Lemming Lacquer. This is Birth of Venus. Official description is an ocean blue jelly with a rainbow mix of iridescent flakes and dominant shades of blue, purple, pink, orange, and gold. This was inspired by the Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli. This is capped at 275 bottles and the price is 13. So this is a lovely um, blue type color to me, very ocean type. And it does, in my opinion, flirt with being almost teal. So just a really flattering, cool toned color. Um, per usual, as I've come to expect from Lemming, um, this is just very, very loaded up on the uh, rainbow flakes here. And they don't, they're not hidden per se by that base color. So you're gonna see all types of shifts of colors from these flakes. They're in a variety of sizes, so you'll get a lovely pond effect on your layers. Now, the formula overall feels medium to heavy to me. But as you're seeing here, I'm just going in just with normal um, amount on, of polish on my brush. And I'm just kind of just a little bit careful on how I'm placing those flakes and I'm just fine. So I'm um, just going a little light handed and you're going to be smooth sailing. I do recommend the glossy top coat for this one to really exploit the color shift of those flakes. And after top coating, I had no texture. Next, we have Night Owl Lacquer. This is Poplars at sun and Sunset. Official description is a top base filled with lots of red to gold to green aurora shimmer and charcoal flakes. This is inspired by Vincent Van Gogh's 1884 Avenue of Poplars at Sunset. It is capped at 360 bottles and the price is $12.50. So this one is a lovely medium to light feel on the formula in my opinion. It builds up very quickly. Um, really, really interesting color to me. So the base I would agree is a very um, top type of base. Um, very neutral leaning, but the shimmer here is crazy strong and it gives this very warm glow that just kind of brings that earthy color to life. So as you're seeing here, you'll mostly see it in this reddish copper, um, very, very strong. And then in bright lights, as you're seeing here, you'll see it as that red. Um, just on slight angles even, you'll see it shift over to green and gold. Very, very strong. This is super glowy. On my macro shots, you can kind of see some of that green coming out, but it's definitely more obvious in person. For opacity, I'm gonna say between two and three coats, depending on how you polish. Um, this one does dry down a little bit on, I dare say, kind of a satin type side. So personally, I would recommend a glossy top coat to really, really bring out that shimmer um, and just that super depth overall, just lots of glow here. And it almost gives it off in a bit of a sparkly manner. So after top coating, no texture to report here. Next, we have Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is Walk Among Blossoms. Official description is a lightly tinted dirty orange base that enhances the multi-chrome pigment, and it shifts from violet to red to orange to gold with scattered holographic pigment and micro flakies and a mix of crystal chameleon and UCC flakies. This is inspired by the, the artist Salva um, Ilyavev. I apologize once again if I'm saying that incorrect. This will be capped at 110 bottles, and the price will be 12. So per usual, um, another expectation, um, the owner of this brand typically goes 
all over on these pigments and it's just a beautiful mixture at the end result. So this has lots and lots of flakies as you're seeing here. I had no problems um, picking them up on the brush and I had just all kinds of pigments on my nails, whether it was the shimmer or the hollow or the flakes and just a lots and lots of um, colors popping at me all over the place. So in person, you'll mostly see it as almost like a like a muddy brownish type of almost burgundy and then on angles there's a nice coppery glow here so i would classify this as almost a duochrome but it does have um, different types of warm shifts on extreme angles and after top coating i didn't have any texture whatsoever and lastly we have sassy cat slacker this is mistakes Official description is a red jelly polish with a blue to purple magnetic shift with shifting ghost flakes of blue, gold, and pink to purple plus gold shimmer flakes. This was inspired by Bob Ross and his red sunset painting. This will be capped at 75 bottles and the price will be 13. So the formula on this one has a very opaque feeling jelly-like feel. That base color is a luscious, um, like a cool toned red, one of my favorite types of reds and it's really, really sparkly. So I absolutely adore that base. Now the magnetic pigment here um, is being a little subtle in my video, but you'll see here in a moment on the full hand shot, um, just how much it kind of really brings out that reddish base. So it does shift between blue and purple in person. It's got lots of movement to it on the nail and overall just really complementing um, in a similar color family with each other. So I'm going in with a light hand on that first coat and on the second coat, I'm going in just a touch heavy. Dry time on this one is very nice, so I had no problems there either. Um, it does dry down a little bit, kind of on the glossy side, so I could see any top coat really working with this one. And as you're seeing here, lots of movement, lots of sparkles, and just a really amped up, lovely, flattering, cool toned red. After top coating here, I no, had no texture either. So I will break all of this down below for you guys in a written format. Um, please let me know if you would like to see the top coating of the video of the polishes returned to the videos. Um, I do think this is a way to make it more um, just really quick, you know, in your face, wham, bam, let's see the swatches and get on with ourselves. So uh, polish pickup opens at 11 a.m. Eastern time on April 5th and will end at midnight Eastern time on April 8th. Wish listing is open for the site right now, so you guys can definitely check it out and get your uh, wish list loaded on your accounts. I will link Polish Pickup's website below, as well as my blog post if you would like a written format. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.